Developing now, the fight to find out what caused this fire that lit up the night sky. Chopper 13 fast and first over the scene as crews work to get that situation under control. But there are some people out there who have their own suspicions of what sparked that blaze. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin started digging around for more. This is the site that neighbors at Desert Inn and Pecos woke up to on Wednesday morning. A huge fire engulfed this building. The building belongs to NB Energy, but they're not using it right now. But neighbors say that does not mean the building is empty. And usually I have to pass that building and I will always observe a light on or someone looking out the window. Did that scare you up? Yes, it did. Yes. Several neighbors told us they see a lot of homeless and transient people around the area. Over there, that area right there, it's like a whole bunch of dumpsters. I don't know if the homeless people actually be in a building, but they're always in that area. I know that. D'Angelo Cersei says this isn't even the first fire. Yeah, they had a fire over there not too long ago, like a month ago. The little shed over there was on fire, but I just hope everybody's okay. One woman was afraid to share her name, but says her husband has seen evidence of people in there. When he takes the bus in the morning, uh, Five o'clock in the morning, they have a lot of uh, clothing on the floor and the sleeping people there. She thinks they may have set a fire to keep warm. We called NB Energy, which owns the building, to get answers. We even went there to see what they know. They could only talk with us on the phone and told us they don't know whether they've had complaints about squatters there. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News.